The Frill Neck Lizard. I use the Faber-Castell grip color pencils for this because they sit so well in my hand. Please pay attention to the shapes that I'm drawing. If you go nice and slowly, you can follow me as I build up this fantastic animal step by step. This is the opening of the mouth. Then I add the head and the eye. Next comes the tongue, sticking straight out. Then I draw the lines that shows the shape of the inside of its mouth. Next comes the main body, the protruding chest and the straight back. And a long, thin, wiggly tail. Then comes the curved legs. And the long, thin, sharp toes. I have chosen a very dramatic pose for the frill lizard because of the way it behaves in nature. You see, when it's attacked by a predator, it shoots out its impressive frill, opens its mouth wide and rears up on its hind legs. Yeah, I'll tell you, that'll scare off a predator or two. Then finally comes the frilled neck itself. It sits like a disc around the neck of the lizard and I advise that you take your time sketching it lightly until you get it right. Notice that there is a fold under the lizard's chin. Now from the head in the center, lines go out in all directions. Kind of like the inside of an orange if you cut it in half. Now that the basic shapes of the lizard are sketched, it's time to ink in the lines using a black connector pen. Frilled neck lizards are part of the dragon family. When in danger, their impressive red-orange frill opens around their neck, making the lizard look twice the size and very scary. At this stage in the drawing, I advise you to take your time, don't rush. Keep a steady hand and draw each line and each curve as smooth and beautiful as you can manage. Try to avoid putting your hand on freshly drawn lines while they're still wet, because they can smudge. Wait a few seconds until they dry. Before I start coloring, I add the little teeth. Now I select the colors I want to use. I have decided to keep the lizard in a warm color range using yellows, reds and browns. I start with a dark brown, putting in the dark areas and the shadows. Then I use an orange for spots. and a yellow on top of it all to give a warm glow to the skin. I keep on working with red and orange to make the colors richer and deeper. On top of the bright colors, I add little shadows in order to make it look more three-dimensional. Gradually, I build up a warm, rich tone to the lizard's skin by putting orange and yellow on top of the dark brown. Then, at the edge of the frill, I draw little spikes to add to the dramatic expression. If you look closely, you'll see that the lizard's body is covered by scales. Or, how about this? Lightning coming out from the head! Just a cast shadow, my signature, and it's done! 